Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing an early example of the now 20-year-old and celebrated Patek Philippe Aquanaut family. This is one of the plank owners of the line, a Patek Philippe Aquanaut 5065A. You can see and you can purchase this Patek Philippe automatic sports watch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally our complete pricing details for this Patek Philippe Aquanaut. Again, that's the card in the upper right hand corner. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see the watch cuts a lower profile simplified and perhaps even a little bit more refined in its line than the Nautilus. It's the stripped down cafe racer of the Patek Philippe sports watch line. 39.5 millimeters across the round of the case, not inclusive of crown guard or crown. It is delightfully slim, only eight millimeters thick with a generously sloped and stepped case flank and bezel. Although it is a sports watch, water resistant to 120 meters, it will slide underneath any dress cuff and pair perfectly with upscale attire. From lug to lug, compact and wearable, 44.5 millimeters across the wrist. Just about any wrist with the enthusiasm can wear this watch. I would say that even down to 13 centimeters in circumference, about as small as a man's wrist gets, you're gonna be able to wear this watch with security and style. Nevertheless, it has the character and the gravitas to hold its own against a big arm. Now the watch has a extremely comfortable, natural vulcanized rubber strap, and you can see that the imprint of the strap recapitulates the geosphere cut of the hobnail dial. Very supple, soft, and as you can see, highly, highly pliant, very flexible. It's paired with a Patek Philippe double deployant, beautifully finished steel folding clasp for security when donning or removing. As you can see, Calatrava cross inset, beautifully polished on the exterior and with a delightfully low profile, so less susceptible to desk diving disasters. Now the watch features a combination of strong bezel and strong lugs. The bezel, of course, ties the watch to the great Gerald Genton Nautilus, one of the mainstays of Patek Philippe's traditional sports watch line, and it's finished the same standard with a gorgeous satin surfacing and the beautiful semi-rounded, semi-angular polished flanks giving way to a satin finished case band, a lightly beveled and polished lug hood. The watch is minimalist and effective because of it. Again, doing more with less. That's the ethos of the Aquanaut designer. The dial itself has patinaed in a charming fashion. Now this model was built from 1997 to approximately 2006 when the 5167 and its cohorts were phased in. The watch you're looking at here features a gorgeous combination of lightly patinaed hour indices outboard of applied stylized Arabic numerals with a metallic finish and that geosphere gloss cut to the center dial. The watch allows for reading at a glance. Legibility is excellent. You can see there's a discrete date window abreast of Arabic numeral three at three o'clock, one of the hallmarks of these early Aquanauts. On the case back, you see Patek Philippe's Manufacture Caliber 315 Automatic. It beats away at a stately 21,600 vibrations per hour. It features gorgeous Linear and circular Cote de Genève. You can see circular on the golden winding mass, linear atop the bridges, beautiful mirror polished hand laid anglage rounding off the edge of every bridge, polished screw heads with chamfered slots. It features a quick set for the date so you can rapidly cycle it should the watch run down or require correction. And there's a Gyromax style balance, Gyromax being Patek Philippe's traditional free sprung balance architecture able to take and hold a precise regulation and then hold it in the face of vibration, bumps, or disruptions on the wrist as you would hope for in a sports watch. The traditional Gyromax balance set right next to a train bridge featuring the Geneva Hallmark. You can see it, it's the small golden dot just below my finger. Of course, all of this model's units being built before 2009. None of them feature the later Patek Philippe seal. No difference in finishing. This is just the more traditional, more romantic signature. Now this watch, of course, water resistant, once again to 120 meters, is a true sports watch in every sense. So whether this is your first Patek Philippe, your first steel Patek Philippe, your first Patek Philippe sports watch, or you're simply looking to round out a collection, this is an outstanding choice for summer 2017. You can see it and you can buy it on our website.